Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I like to talk about handbags here on this channel. And if you're not new and you're returning, I really appreciate you coming back. Thanks again. Thanks for being so loyal and thank you guys to all my subscribers. It's just been amazing these last few years of doing YouTube and I really, really enjoy doing this. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I started, a, we're in a new month, we're in November right now. And I have to tell you guys, I have been super proud of myself because I have not made a handbag purchase since September 3rd. Today is November 3rd. So two months of no bag buying, which for a handbag obsessed addict, that's not too and too bad. So I am pushing through and I'm just excited to show you guys my totes that I'm gonna be carrying in the month of November. I'm gonna call this Tote November or Tote Vember, however you wanna call it. We had Satchel September, we had Flaptober, now we have Tote Vember. Um, let's go ahead and just show you my tote bag collection real quick. I don't have that many that are too varied, but these are gonna be the ones that I'll use as my handbags this month. Okay, so first and foremost, my Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag collection in the size small. So these bags can sort of be like satchels in a way, but they're totes, they say the tote bag on them. I'm gonna call them totes. We have True Red, absolutely stunning. This bag, is gorgeous. I love Marc Jacobs Red. And then we have Forest. This is actually the most recent of the four that I've bought. And it's a beautiful autumnal green color. Very great for the fall time. I'm gonna bring this out a lot into the fall. And you know, pair it with sweaters and jackets and um, puffy coats and stuff like that. I think this will look really, really pretty with like khaki. So there's that. And then I also have my beautiful citronelle one here. Citronelle, just the color of hedge apples. We have hedge apples that have fallen to the ground. This is super duper autumnal as well, but I also love this in the summer. Like this is such a fun summer, fun bag. It's very almost acid yellow, acid green color. The one that I'm currently using is the Deep Blue Sea one here and it has silver hardware. It's a gorgeous navy with a splash of a green undertone in it but mm, it's more just true navy to me and it's called Deep Blue Sea. So now I have dabbled with like what bag I'll buy myself for the Christmas season because after I'm through this I'm gonna treat myself to a bag I'm considering getting another Marc Jacobs the tote bag in the size small in the leather because I just love these bags so much, you guys. They're just, the size is absolutely be the best. So moving away from Marc Jacobs for a moment, I'm gonna talk to you about my Naomi Crafted Garden Party inspired bag. This is just an amazing tote. I seriously love this out of all of the ones that she has gifted because a lot of the bags she has sent to me for free on her, which is really, really sweet. This is by far my favorite one, I would have to say, only just because I'm a bigger bag girly. Some of the bags that I think she has created are a little bit on the small size for me and I really appreciate kind of bigger bags in my life. But this bag is awesome. The leather is in very, I mean, it's very, very sturdy leather and it has a snap here at the top and the inside. I use this primarily for work. So I can put my MacBook in it, a file folder and all my necessities. Like I could even carry my daily goods, my wallet, my sunglasses and everything in this. A water bottle fits great and my MacBook and I'm out the door. I will say the only thing that I really wish that this bag had was a little bit longer of a strap drop, but I think primarily this is more meant to be carried by crook of arm or by hand. Um, over the shoulder in a pinch, no worries at all. And then you can open up the sides. 
This material is made out of the Hermes dust bags. It's super duper sturdy and durable. I went ahead and Colonel Carbon Proed mine just to help kind of prevent some of the marks. Um, I believe this bag is still available on her website and she also makes it in the black version as well where this is brown, she also has a black version. Uh, so, and then this little thing here, this is kind of like a, it's a fake Hermes rodeo. I mean, what did I pay for this little baby? I think I spent like $8 on her and they sell these on Amazon in all different colors. I just figured this is kind of a neat, cute little Pegasus type. Well, it's a rodeo, so. And then real quickly, I'm considering all these Longchamp totes. Um, as well they're totes. So I have just really three left that are kind of like handbag size carrying bags. I do have the Ocean in the size small top handle long shop bag and you know again these just are so great in the rainy winter, rainy seasons. Right now it's raining. We're gonna get a lot of rain this week so I might be using some of my long shops. And then these two are just fantastic bags. Again, you can throw a 13 inch MacBook in these bags. I've been playing a lot of pickleball lately and with a bag organizer, it really gives these bags some structure. So even if you wanna throw like your water bottle, a pickleball paddle, who knows what, you know, it's a sporty look. So that's what I'm kind of trying to say is these bags are perfect for travel. They're great for sports. They're great for throwing like an extra bathing suit in or like put your bathing suit in after you go swimming at the gym. They're waterproof on the inside. And um, yeah, they just have great security. So this one is from the club line. This is Acid, my Longchamp Acid Tote. I have had this thing for like three years at minimum, maybe four years, I love it. And then I got this one. This is the color Paprika and it's in the originals line, um, but it's gorgeous. And the handles are super duper floppy and I haven't even worn it that much, which I find is interesting. It's already like broken in. So yeah, I love Longchamp. I used to have like 16 Longchamp bags, you guys. I used to have so much of it. I've really pared it down though a lot because I just find that I'm just using, I'm really mainly using like my Longchamp backpack and the large totes the most, like for travel. They're great, the large tra travel bags are perfect to throw over a suitcase. And then the Longchamp backpack is great for like amusement parks, but I just don't wear them that much anymore as regular handbags, but yeah, they're just still awesome. They feel so good in the hand. They feel great and cool to the touch. Great for the summertime, I will say. Lastly, but certainly not least, is the medium size Marc Jacobs the tote bag that I have here. And this is in the Jacquard fabric. It is so soft, so good. I really love the medium size in a non-leather material. I have weighed and lifted the large, I'm sorry, the medium size leather ones. And to me, they're a little heavy. And I carry Dunienberg satchels, which yes, that's this. It's like the, the, the kettle calling the pot black or the other way around. But um, I think that I like this sturdy jacquard fabric a little bit more than the canvas. This is super duper, durable. And this bag, I've really been taking a lot to pickleball lately. So um, fits the 13 inch MacBook perfectly. It fits right here. And I do love the fact that this comes with a thick crossbody strap. And that's the other thing about the leather ones is it comes with the skinny crossbody strap. So you'd have to, I mean, you could easily throw any kind of Amazon guitar strap on those too, but this is already going to be lightweight for you. Most of the time when I carry this, I do carry it just by top handle, just for a quick grabber. And I wouldn't say it's too big to carry as an everyday bag either. The medium size, the small to me though, is just the perfect Goldilocks size. 
So yeah, here's the small versus the medium. And, you know, it's, it's not like, it's not like you're jumping to some gargantuan size from the small to the medium. So it's definitely a perfect size too. I wouldn't mind having another one of these. I do love the, the black with the white on the sides. I do love that one too. This one is called um, Sand. This is the sand one. So, okay guys, well that is all about my totes for this month. Next, I do wanna show you a little bit of a change that I made in my bedroom recently. I recently had my painters in and I'm just really excited to kind of show you guys my bedroom. And if I have a before picture, I'll show it to you. It's It was terrible, like what my bedroom looked like before. So let me show you. Okay, so please excuse if you see like stuff hanging around, but my painter freshened up this whole area recently. He like touched up the blue. He touched up all my white woodwork. It looks so much better. It looks like it's all brand new. So it's really, really exciting that this all got repainted because my kids like run their hands up and like touch stuff. And you know, it just gets all dirty, but like, look at this, it's all fresh and clean. He went and repainted all my trim for me. I'm super pumped about that. And then let me see. Okay, so before my bedroom was Salute Red by Sherwin-Williams, you guys. It is now gray and I cannot, I think it's called like Intellectual Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Um, I am so excited about how this really turned out. And I think next in the next year or two I'm probably going to replace my flooring up in my bedroom like I would love to have hardwood floors oh my gosh don't look in that closet but yes hardwood floors would be so nice he went through my master bathroom here or now we call it the primary in real estate I'm so sorry we don't call master bedroom master bedroom it's called the primary bedroom and primary bathroom but Yes, red everywhere. You, it was just, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to have a harsh red environment. You kind of want to go to bed and, um, you know, wake up with my decor in my house is just so plain. Like, I really need to get a life with myself and do something with myself. But it is a start um, just with you know, painting stuff, so. Well, thank you so much again for watching my video and joining me if you wanna do Tote Member. So basically this whole month, I'm gonna use all these bags that I just showed you and hold off from buying and I'm gonna try to make it to at least December 3rd. Here's the problem, I've got Black Friday coming up and my goal is to just not get on the shopping websites. like. I think this is the issue is with any of these Black Friday sales coming up, you're gonna get inundated with emails from your favorite brands, Coach, Dooney and Burke. I mean, Marc Jacobs will probably have a sale as well. And they're all gonna be good. I mean, there's gonna be like Black Friday, Cyber Monday coming up. Ah. So the less you can buy, well, at least for me, like, not buying bags has been good because I'm worried if I buy a bag, it's just gonna like make me wanna buy more bags. I don't know if you guys do that as well, but it for me, like holding off buying has been a good thing, I think. So, all right, thank you so much for watching again and we'll talk to you later, bye-bye.